Mike, turn your games down. Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode 194 of Games My Mom Found. I am Mike Elberton, and who's in an action game instead of a horror game now with me tonight? Ah, it's Nate. And I'm seeing how long I can say. And Cody Swampborn of the House, Laveau, professional, ra- uh, professional exotic animal wrangler, warden of the Riverlands, bender of limbs, winter soldier, gentleman adventurer, former handsomest man, 2019. Count, or was that 2018 of this? I forget. Breaker of hearts, treasure hunter, friend to every single animal on the face of this here planet Earth, father of grovers and uh, wooer of ostriches, apparently, <laughs> according to Mike. And uh, you can just go ahead and add viral TikTok star to that. Uh, I don't know who had that on their 2022 <laughs> bingo card, but here we are, folks. Yes, that is the Cajun Crippler, the Acadian Nightmare, the, the Crescent City Saint. Uh, your Mississippi miracle. I'm going to say that one more time. It's my uh, it's my absolute home. Yes, your friend and mine, your favorite podcast host, the guy who was voted the most drunken podcast guest three <laughs> years running. That's the Cajun Grippler, Cody Laveau, and I am amped for uh, for the game we're playing this week. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Uh, we are here to talk about a game that I've actually haven't played in years, apparently, I found out. Uh, Dead Space 3, which came out in... 2013 damn it's been wow. that many years February Jeez. I didn't realize it'd been that long yeah. I didn't mean uh, developed by Visceral Games published by EA and yeah we're still waiting for number four yeah uh-huh. mm. what <laughs> day? any any day now any day what wasn't there one on the Wii and there was like some some books and some that's some that's some, extraction some, some some food or some uh some um, mobile phone games I'm sure we're gonna be getting to those any day <sighs> I have a copy of Extraction. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get a copy. Can I, can I play that on the Wii U? Because I do own a Wii U. I will buy a Wii U just to play more Dead Space here, just can, so we can. You yeah, can play, play it on PC, somewhere. buddy. Oh, really? I didn't know you could do that. Well, yeah, yeah, don't tell Reggie. Well, well, you just gotta oh, say a little bit. That's all. You but yeah, can, uh, you, can, you can play it on PC. You know, I actually, <laughs> at some point, I'm gonna put it on the show, but because I want to play it with a mouse and not a Wii mote, and I'm excited yeah. to try it because I'm sure it'll I, be fun. I do own a Wii U, so any well, any like, chance you give me to play. That's, I we're doubt ne- my kid still works. We're considering never. My, nah. my case is broken. So. Oh, look at that. I think, well, I think I'm, I have well, the PlayStation 3 version of that. Oh, I didn't even know. I just, I just vaguely know that from somewhere as like the redheaded stepchild of the Dead Space canon. It's, it takes yeah. place it, uh, on the I've Ishimura. I've, I've, I've heard it's pretty good. Oh. Pretty good? No? I'm, oh. here, I'm here saying that it's not good, and you're like, oh, it's, I hear it's good. I know, and that's Word on the street, and you know how word on 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 the street tends to get. You you've been out on that street. You've seen the kinds of people that are out there. You don't always. I, you I don't really want to trust them. And now it's the only thing we got left in the two movies, which I have really low interest in those movies. So yeah, well, it's a it's a rail shooter. Is what the extraction game is to right. And I can I mean I there's so. there's some very good rail shooters out there. Hell, I'm a fan of Star Fox. I'm a fan of uh, of uh, what was that one in the arcade where you, where you, where you had to step on the pedal. Right. Yeah, and uh, two examples are good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk about the end of the series, Dead Space 3, which a lot of people hate, and I don't think they should. And this game came out for 360, PS3, PC. I played it on PC because that's the right way to play it for me. Yeah, so, probably the best way to play it. And That's how I played it. Yeah. I mean, I have a 360 copy. I have a PS3 copy to my somewhere over there, but PC is just perfect for me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I got the rig from uh, from when I was doing Postmates back in for 2020, and now I am spoiled on just good PC for gaming. COVID was the best thing that ever happened to me, <laughs> if I'm honest with you, because I got a very nice PC that is uh, that I bought from bringing uh, liquor to uh, to to board ha- like board ha- housewives during the pandemic, and uh, yeah, made a few thousand dollars, and I immediately blew it all. You get a 401k? Hell no! I don't need no 401k gaming PC, yo. <laughs> My brother-in-law once told me something when I was debating on buying Diablo 3 for the PlayStation 3. He said, you don't take your money with you when you die. And I said, that's Words a good point. By. Words to live by. <laughs> so, hey, but here, guy, I, will, I, I will drink to that. Anybody else drinking? <laughs> hey, don't I worry. Was, I work for assisted I, living. You don't get to take it with you anyway. You live there for about yeah. five years, they'll take it all for you. Don't worry. I, Words, words to live by. I will drink this shot of Cruzan rum to that. 
<laughs> All right. Ah. So this three is like I kind of like the hated game of the series. So we have we've been playing through the the first two series, Dead Space One, Dead Space Two, on the show for the last couple of years. Cody's been on both. Uh, Nate came joined mm-hmm. us on two. Uh, it, this one is considered like the bastard child of the three, which I used to think bad things about it. This game was fine. Like I enjoyed it. This is not. I don't understand the hate. Not yeah. one bit. Um, I, I oh no, go, go right ahead, Nate. I was gonna say I played it at launch. And I did not understand the hate for it either. I was like, this game is amazing. Like, it's great. Yeah, I will tell you, I can see where some of that hate might have come from. Because I did look back on the trailers of this. And it seems like they were like, the, the trailers were like ice planets and shooting dudes. Like shooting dudes yeah. with guns. And the first maybe 30 minutes of this left a bad taste in in my mouth because I'm like, this doesn't feel like dead space to me. Like, I'm in a city. It looks like Blade Runner. I'm shooting <laughs> dudes with guns. They're they're throwing explosives at, at me. There's kind of a cover system, but not really. So it felt to me like an inferior version of like Mass Effect 2. You know, when you're when you're like in the Citadel or something trying to have shootouts and i'm like this doesn't like this feels very mediocre to me and then the and then the trucks are going and you hit them with the stasis and they and 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 the trucks crash i'm like okay this is kind of fun and then and then you meet that and then you meet that douchebag the guy that um (laughs) is dude dude could not find his own ass with both hands and a fucking (laughs) flashlight that fucking guy what was his name like norm he had some norton right yeah i knew it was a dweeb name it's norton (laughs) I mean, he's a dweeb character. I mean, Fuck so like the whole idea. That's like, but that's like the first <sighs> guy that you meet and you're like, we're the last military. And it's like, what do you mean? It's like, we're the last government. Any-. And you're like, that doesn't even make any fucking sense. There's like a ton of planets and a t- you're you're it like four dudes. And we got to save I- like a fucking engineer for some kind of reason and not some. Marie- so I, 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 I will admit <laughs> if I had only played this game for the first half half hour. I would be like, what kind of like Gears of War bullshit is that? Like if I had started out uh, and this was my first game for some kind of reason, I wouldn't have gotten what the hype was until I got to about the Roanoke. And then after that, I'm like, OK, now I feel like I'm back in dead space. Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, feel like yeah. so I feel like if you were a fan, especially of the second game, because the second game, it fucking slaps from the immediate is a dude like jumps into your face and he's like, yo, you, you, you got to get out of the thing. And then monster impales him straight through <laughs> the fu- like shit's hitting the fan. You're in jail. There's monsters coming out of the walls. You don't have a gun fucking go. There's razor armed maniacs. And there's <laughs> like, and there's babies that are like exploding and shit. And you're oh, like, Oh my understand. God, this is just like, mm, like, this is chaos and it's disgusting. <laughs> and I, oh my God, like it fucking, it was the, the first half an hour of dead space two compared to dead space three is oh, night and day. Yeah. So I can definitely see if somebody played this and that's what they played to, why they would have this bad taste in their mouth. But it gets so much better. It does. Oh no, it, it absolutely yeah. does. But I think it made a bad, uh, first impression. I think is it's, where it got a lot of people. It's almost like a fake out beginning where yeah. you're like, oh no. And then, yeah, it gets way better. And like, I I will defend this game to the high heavens because like, I <laughs> I think this is like my yeah. third or fourth time beating this game. Like, I've played this game so many times. And dude, it's, dude, you were showing out back in the chat, my guy. Oh my God. <laughs> that hardcore mode is just... He's like, like, oh, that ain't no... What? Uh, y'all y'all, y'all never beaten a hard, hardcore mode <laughs> on, death, on Dead Space? That's no big deal. Just like, whatever, man, bro. Yeah. I don't even know how the hell you did that. Because for those that no don't know, hardcore mode, anytime you die, it deletes your save. Yeah. I was uh, dying I had on a casual. Flash drive. I had a flash drive attached to my PS3, oh. and I would back up my save. I could, not, I could not. I could not. I could not have done it legitimately. Uh, and the, I think I paid the price for it because the load times on the PS3 are god awful. So anytime <laughs> I would have, I died. I would have to go back to the main. I would have to quit out of the game mm-hmm. and go to the main menu and then go up two button presses and then find the flash drive, copy the save, go back, reload the game sit through opening stuff and like there's like i guess i don't know if it's lag or something but like on the main menu it says dead space 3 press start and if you push start uh sometimes it just doesn't register that so then it starts like it's like a 15 second 
until it starts like playing a clip or like clips of the game. And then you can push start again to like skip that, but it has to like kind of load the main menu again. Oh my god, it sucked. <laughs> like, yeah, I would not have done that. No, I played the game nice. on easy. That, that was enough. I played on the Weenie Hut Junior mode. As I, <laughs> that, I'm yeah. a dad. I I I I got time to do anything. No, I have a no, big I, pile of dirty dishes back there that that <laughs> proves that I do not have time to fuck around with any kind of hard, hardcore mode. <laughs> well, even, it ain't 1997 for me. Even you were saying that you were dying on casual. That even mm-hmm. easy I just do. in this game is so tough. It's like, it is, I'm it like, is oh my hard. god. Yeah. I took, a, I mean, I would get hit all the fucking time in this game where I'm like, okay, I've beaten Dead Space 1 and 2 on easy, and I'm like, I can, I can get through and not get hurt. Like, I Enemies took way too many hits. They were hard to just. They were hard to dismember in this game. Yeah. Dismember. Whatever. Word yeah. Uh, just use. remember. Dismember. And they were hard to. Like I would shoot them in the leg. I sometimes I would shoot a guy in the leg like four times, five times, and you, and I had my gun completely powered up with all damage yeah. enhancements. He just would. The leg wouldn't come off. I'm like, come on, yeah. that game. Yeah. Like yeah. well, and I feel like the enemies were much faster in this game. Like yes. Oh, for there's, sure. There's uh, I again. I don't know the names of anything. So I but uh, but the ones where they're. Where they're where they're where they're their blade arms and they're and they're kind of doing like the the Michael Jackson move from Thriller <laughs> where they're doing the you can visualize yeah. it hands up above yeah head, it's just but they're like saying. blades but those guys used to kind of lumber at you and they had like a big fat belly and you could and and those arms are made to be like lopped off and then they throw their yeah. head at you but like these dudes would fucking book it it was I don't know, it was made I don't a know lot harder been smoking but and because. The idea is that you'd play this game co-op, so the game was made harder and more fungy to fit right. co-op. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I guess they couldn't scale that. Was that like a timing? I mean, I, I don't know. You can get one of the devs and ask, but yeah, but I, I, I definitely felt like I missed out on a lot by not playing co-op. Definitely on story, but also like I could definitely see where like some of the puzzles were made for it and like a lot of the enemy stuff. Like it definitely does not feel like it was scaled for single player mode. Like it was definitely co-op yeah. first. And, and I this think is, this was this was like the golden age of co-op, right? This is like yeah. Kane and Lynch, RE5, <laughs> the RE6. Uh, yeah. RE, yeah. Yeah. We don't talk about RE6. Army of Two. R- I, that's the one I, yeah. I was trying to think I have, of. I have that game actually to my Army, left. But... I, I, I own it. I've just never played it. Me either. Uh, I, I just always think of, of, of Kane and Lynch because that's one of the most unappealing video game titles of all time. And yeah. uh, Lynch Deadman. I'll and never Kane forget. Two it. dog days. Yeah, no, I mean, it looks it looks like a fun game. I just I've never gotten around to playing it. Eh. But but like co-op was everything back back then. Um, Oh, God, yes. And also the online pass. I think Dead Space 3 probably would have been the same time where especially EA, where you if you only bought the game new, would you get the ten dollar online pass that gave you gave you online play? Oh, well, and uh, which when those went away, they did make the online pass free on the like the stores. So if you bought it used, you could still go on the store and like you still needed it to play online, but it was free, right. so you could just download it. That was so that's good. Get it, but it was such a dumb thing when they. It did was that. a super dumb thing. Yeah. yeah, I hated it. I actually didn't mind the opening of this game. Like we were talking, I want to go a little bit about it. Like it, it is a big like slap slap to the face. I was like, what the hell? Because you you just fight human enemies. I mean, you the one the first thing you see is a guy grab two grenades and jump on a car and blow up in your face, and like you have this dick <laughs> character that you were mentioning earlier, Norman. God, he's a fucking it, dick. Like, I yeah, mean, yeah. And you play as Isaac, he, but it's just God. All the characters in this game are just jerks. Yeah, absolutely. The story like, is odd. Yeah, I I didn't know how far deep you wanted to talk about the story itself because I got a lot of questions about that story. We, can answer some. So uh, the writing in this game, the story in this game sucks when it's focused on whatever they were doing with the Norton Ellie Isaac drama. I guess yeah. shit. I nobody gives a shit about that, you know. <laughs> but like, when the game is focused on like Danik and the unitologist wanting to like, you know, uh, go to Tavalantis to get the machine or like, you know, the Necromorph homeworld, like that stuff is still interesting and super cool. Well, Danik is a great villain. He's yeah, he is. He big. He does make some dumb decisions though. <laughs> like I, I think everybody does. Like when, when he power. has when he has you in chapter, I think it's 15, 16 after you assemble Rosetta and he's like, we're going to kill you. And he like they wait. And then Isaac's able to like release gas and shit. He's like, oh, yeah. just leave him. We have to go. <laughs> and it's like that, no, you that still have them. Like, that cut scene after they build 
Rosetta, which could not have been a more on the nose name too. That was that yeah. was very fun. But after they built her, there was like a line of dialogue. It's like, oh my gosh, it's an alien. They're like, no shit, there's been a ton of like, what are you talking about? Right. There's fucking yeah. monsters running around everywhere, bro. You fought them in two. <laughs> like what? Like. I do, I do really like Carver when you're assembling it, and he's like, "So obviously this is the end of it." <laughs> he's like trying to help. Oh yeah, that was that was. <laughs> Carver's a weird ass character too. Like I know there's a whole bunch of stuff with co-op where you like he sees like toy soldiers and stuff around. Mm-hmm. If you play as yeah. the second player, I, I did watch some of that just so I could okay. get a little bit more co- context on. Like I watched a video of the co-op dialogue and there's i and and like there's whole other like missions and stuff like i feel like i missed a yes. lot there is there's uh, extra you, missions the and you kind of figure is, yeah oh sorry go ahead no and you kind of like know he's like a shitty dad i kind of picked up on that but yeah there's there's a lot more to that dude that you did not get to pick up no yeah because it's only in the second player stuff right i really like the co-op in this game because it does like when you're playing as isaac You'll like do the co-op missions and stuff, but you'll like you'll just be in like normal rooms and then you're playing as Carver and he's having the hallucinations. So like there's like some puzzly elements where Carver is seeing stuff and you have to like relay that and be like, no, there's like there's fucked up shit going on here. And Isaac is just like, what do you mean? You know, (laughs) like, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's oh, like, I do want to explain the story really fast. Like, I didn't understand what was happening throughout this game. I watched a YouTube yeah. video that explained it. I had no <laughs> clue what the, there was. Yeah. So <laughs> pretty much the so, supposedly the end you you play, you were only part of whatever's left of the military. This dumbass asshole that recruits you ended up taking take, started dating your girlfriend from Dead Space 2, who you who broke up with you and moved on immediately. And they're trying to recruit you to go to this planet because they got some message that this planet was lost and something to do with the marker. The whole idea of what you're trying to do is get to this machine to turn on the machine. Cause the machine was on, but not completely on. And it stopped the necromorphs from building a moon made out of necromorph that will then happen all over the, all over the universe. Yep. And that's yeah, essentially, that's yeah, totally reasonable. That, yeah. I don't know how we couldn't make Makes sense. And <laughs> so Isaac has to shoot a giant fish at the very end. I like that. I, I actually got that more out of the story this time than when I played it. The other times, like I, well, I understood. Well, this is like your more. fifth time beating this game, man. Right? It you, is. You ought to see know something like more than more and more and more again. You keep dying, so hey. But I, I do, I do kind of. I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm just a sucker for the lore of this yeah. of this series. But I do really like kind of the reveals you get when you're on yeah. top of Atlantis, because like before you go, like Norton kind of like talks you into it. You know, at the beginning, where he's like, you know, he's like, are you? His dialogue is like, are you Isaac? You created a marker. And Isaac is like, I didn't do fucking shit. Your government made me. And he's like, and you destroyed two. That's what we need you for. <laughs> and then it turns out he just wants to find Ellie and like abandon the mission altogether. Yep. Uh, yeah. But you're on the ship and like Isaac has a hallucination in the Admiral's quarters. I think it is somewhere. Yes. Yeah, and he's like saying, steps. yeah. And he's like, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. And so you think your whole mission is to go to this planet and turn off the machine. But that's what the necromorphs want. Yes. Because, yeah. And I was like, like, I don't know, that kind of clicked, that kind of clicked into place for me. And I was like, oh, that makes sense that Isaac would still like he's still having these marker influences on. But him. it wasn't it wasn't as good as like when you have in the first game where you have Nicole and then Nicole in the second game. Like it was nothing like that. Right. There was supposed to be a shadow Isaac talking to you throughout the whole game, but that got cut. Oh, really? Yeah. They were going to have an evil version of Isaac that was talking to him and confusing him. Because it was supposed to be, you know, the necromorph part of him, but yeah. EA said, nope, thank you. Well, I'm glad, because that would have been weird. <laughs> well, that was supposed to be the second player. That was supposed to be the second yeah. player you played oh. as Shadow Isaac, and then you thought it was second player, but it turns out there was no one there. It was just him hallucinating the whole time. Well, I mean, that's been overdone a ton of times. I mean, I'm 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 going to spoil a lot of media, <laughs> so if you don't like really old stuff being spoiled, <laughs> that's basically the plot of Fight Club. That's the spot, or that's the, I think that's Call of Duty World at War had that. No, with, uh, uh, Bla- the that's Ru- Black Ops 1. Was that Black Ops 1? <laughs> it was Black Ops 1, that because I watched guy. Fight Club the year before Black Ops 1 came out, yeah. so when I was playing Black Ops 1, I was like, oh, hold on, like, <laughs> yeah. But this it's, could be it's, a thing. But it's definitely a trope that was used a lot, especially yeah. around this time. And I feel like Fight Club started it. But like your friend was really your imaginary friend the whole time, even yeah. though he was 
even though he was literally opening doors and like doing stuff outside of your site and like crates would drop like it doesn't make sense when you actually go back and think about it yeah unless you're like hallucinating levers getting pulled across the room so right. i'm kind of glad that that trend died out which i carver when you're in single player is just so funny because he's like oh we got to do this together and then he just disappears yeah and then, he's like, <laughs> and then he comes back and he's like oh isaac let's do this and then he just disappears and it's like come on man <laughs> like when i first started like before we played this game what my memory was like okay i'm gonna play lost planet dead space version and this game was nothing like that you are in ships you're in close quarters all the damn time yeah which yeah. i which is what i was right. afraid of when i when i started because if i'm if i'm playing dead space i want to be in a dead space <laughs> um but no i mean i feel like that's that's where dead space one really did a lot of cool stuff is that you're in these cramped like you know almost like the first alien movie except uh you have a flame flow flamethrower a lot more in that first game, which is an improvement, but it's this like decrepit ship and it's kind of falling apart. And then it kind of does, but you never really feel too powerful until the very, very end. But just like it, it felt a lot more cramped. And that was part of what's being, what's very scary about that game. And they kind of put a lampshade on it in the third game. He's like, Oh my God, there's monsters all over the place. And he's well, like, Don't go next to the fence. but, and then, <laughs> and then the second, no, I feel like the second game did, did give you that. But also you got to see like this space station city where like you got to go deeper down. I don't know if it was physically deeper in into it, but it felt like you're going into the basement of like the of like the evil cult headquarters <laughs> where like we're like you start at the big at like the 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 big church and the further you go down, it's like, oh, these are the quarters and things are kind of kind of kind of shifty here. And then you go even further down and like, oh, they're like sacrificing people. But like you get to have that reveal with it as you go along and i do feel like this this game started you out in the big open church but you did you you didn't really get to drill down the same way but you did get lots of as as you said lots of dead space one kind of yeah which is and why i loved the roanoke i love i love that i, I like that i also like that the game had like side quests in this game i did a couple but the fact that the game had them like it, certain things that happened yeah. oh there's a side optional quest to go do and i'm like Okay, and, cool. And you, and you never do those, Mike. You're you are the only man that I know that has ever played Tomb Raider, and you didn't raid a single goddamn tomb. <laughs> I don't raid many. No, I did some last in in Shadow. Just not all. Tomb, just not Tomb Observer. It was Tomb Raider. I did like one tomb. That was enough. <laughs> single tomb, one tomb, not tombs <laughs> Raider. Mike I took it the literally. Best one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't got time for that. It depends um, on the week. The the whole space exploration bit was just like that is still i wish more i guess more games do that now i don't know you got there's games out there where you can explore yeah where you can explore space but like that truly just felt like it was honestly really cool to see in like 2013 because no game was doing (laughs) something where you were just flying around an open in open space like exploring derelict ships you know like and it's the sound design in space is cool too because it's muffled and it's like yeah. God, that's stuff. Uh, it's so good. Very much so. I know. Yeah. That, that, no, I love that sort of feeling of like of like you get hit and it's just that dull kind of sound. Yeah. Like, oh shit, where's it coming from? <laughs> and, and then your gun me. is just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no the space space was really good in this game. Like the, the yeah. being out there and you spend a decent amount of time in space. Be you actually get to be an engineer in this game too, which was yeah. nice. It was yeah. some very dead space, and I mean that in the best way possible. <laughs> it was. I mean, I thought the game was kind of horror. Like, you didn't fight a lot of humans. Like, you had your moments, you fight some, but you still fight mostly Necromorph. Yeah, I feel like yeah. that was the big issue that most people had with this game, is they got real mad about, oh, you fight dudes with guns the whole time. I'm like, you don't really no. fight very many dudes in this game. Like, yeah. you fight the guys at the beginning, and then there's a few more, and then and then there's the dweeb guy, uh, Norbit. Norbert. You don't really fight him, but you just shoot him in the head. You shoot him in the face, which I was excited about. You just sick of him being done. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I did not like that whole like love triangle bullshit with him. Like he's like, you just want Ellie, like you guys have a good talk. And I thought motherfucker, the world is ending. And I thought maybe they were heading going down the road of it's the marker making him go crazy. Yeah. But it wasn't the marker. He was just he just being an asshole. He's just a dumb asshole. And like Who's, in the way that motivations first... make no sense. The motivation of that dude. I... Yeah, it's it's really thin. 
it, like plot like for him. He sells out Isaac, and he's like, "Let's just sell out Isaac, so all of us can go home." Motherfucker, what home? Yeah, because like they're destroying. Because they the way they talk about it, they made all these markers. Like every colony has a marker they're trying to harness for energy, and he blows up. The, the villain blows up yeah. the protector. It's like blowing up Chernob- Chernobyl in every single major city. Yeah. Yeah. There is nothing to go home. There except, is no home. Except this, instead of this radiation doesn't just kill you, it turns you into a monster, and you kill everybody else and turn them into monsters. So, you know, a little worse. Which, so. which might be fun. We don't know. We haven't heard the <laughs> necromorph side of it. What if the cult of scary monsters is is right? There's good guys time. on both sides. Hashtag. Oh, my God. That's, oh, no. That is a great <laughs> shout. Oh, we're going to get in so much trouble. I, I mean, every so often people get mad at me when I'm going, like, hey, I can do what I want. So I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Watch out. Mike, Mike with the hot takes. I will make my, my joke. Love sometime. It. So, I love it. I love it. oh, and also the, the main, the main actor for the villain is uh, Simon Templeman, which I really yes. like. Who's that? Who should I, should I know him from something? He's Kane. Oh, from Legacy, of the the reason that yeah yeah, from, yeah he, he played. I've been actually trying that's to like contact your that guy that's like for your a games. while because I want to interview him, but I've never yeah. been able to of him. And that's like your fucking game too. You love <laughs> Legacy. Really, it's just Legacy came with one of our good games, and then we just kept doing the whole series. And I got to interview one of the art directors for the games, and then it just nice. kind of became a thing. But no, I had no interest in in the series till this podcast. But no, yeah, he's the it's the guy who does Kane, and they use his likeness and his voice. I heard, I'm like, wait, I know that voice, I know that likeness. It was Simon Templeman. Oh, he right does a really on. good job. Yeah, he does. I mean, he no, was, I like that guy. He was a much better villain than I thought he would be just by his face. Because I'm like, head. oh, he's, yeah, he's like, oh, Mr. Slick guy. But no, he was he was maybe the best character in this game other than, you know, obviously. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, right? Sure, we can we can have that conversation. Armor. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then we could talk about this. If I did single, you are getting a recording of this, right? Yes, like a like a screen grab of this, because I definitely want this to be committed my face on screen to what I am about to say. I don't edit video. So if you want to, you're welcome to save the video. Do it yourself. I will. not. All right. Oh, I just started the video myself. OK, so Ellie, 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 Ellie. She is as of Dead Space 3, my second favorite video game, but of all time. <laughs> Who's your first? OK, I will give you the top three. Number three, you, yes. Number three, it's it's a long podcast. I'll I'll <laughs> I'll keep it to three. Number well, this, three, this establishes context exactly. How to let ranks. you know the yeah. absolute dump truck, the a- <laughs> just chef's kiss perfection that is Ellie. What's her name's butt? Okay, I don't. I I never caught her last name, but L- exactly. But num- number three, of course, is Cami from Street Fighter. Zero <laughs> notes. It's amazing. She turns around. She does that pose. It's great. Number two, Ellie. Again, y'all are sleeping on this. I I cannot believe that I have not. Like, you can look up best video game butts on the internet. Ellie from Dead Space 2 and 3. Flawless butt. I mean, the kind of (laughs) butt that you want to bite into like a Rottweiler, Mike. Well, some some flaws. You want to catch Lockjaw. You want to have her drag you to death, Mike. (laughs) The kind of the kind of butt that makes your eyes pop out like Wiley e. Coyote makes you go makes you just blurt out. Look at the shitter on that critter. <laughs> Mike is Mike is on the floor. Now. Mike, if you, this is a visual medium, Mike is literally on the floor. Number one, obviously, <laughs> Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid Two. Yeah. Okay. Oh my go god. With that. Zero notes. Absolutely zero notes on Solid Snake. <laughs> The pun, the pun writes it. So, hey, I, he, he said it. I was about to. <laughs> Nate said it. God damn it. What is this? Sorry, I was just reading this blog post. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, like, I, I like Ellie in this. I don't like the. I just, I, as I said before, that fucking love triangle is so fucking annoying. Like, the first time you see Ellie with, and Norton, he just goes up and starts kissing. He's like, oh, hey, baby, you're alive. And you're just like, what? And it was just Wait, so hang dumb. on. You might have you might have wanted to like give us a, a minute here there, Norbit. Like Norton. <laughs> like, you know, maybe maybe on the way over he could have told, hey, I'm dating your ex. Like, yeah, yeah just so let like, you know. I like, don't want to spark that on you. And like, dude is so defensive. Like, bro, you got the again, girl. I really thought he was gonna it was the marker making him go crazy. I'm like, okay, the marker is getting to him. The marker like, nope, it was they never that was he was just now like and that bothered me. I'm like, it should have been the marker making him go more demented. And making him get more jealous and, and you know, suspicious and, and, you know, happening to everybody. That would have been a cool art to say, yes, there's markers here, so we're getting fucked with. Not, 
you, I, I'm tapping that. You used to tap that. I hate you now because you tapped it years ago before I even knew she existed. Oh, I hate your guts now. Mm-mm. Just a douchebag, which I guess is realistic because I have known a few of those kinds of guys. I have but, too. But like, bro, literally, there's a moon made of monsters about to show up and you're worried about well, somebody's ex. Bro, you won. That That's it. Well, but like, you know, something's <laughs> going down. Well, I mean, he did know the markers went off. He did know that society... Because they make a comment in this, they're like, everybody's dead. Like, if we don't finish this here, the world is ruined because the Necromorphs were released everywhere. And, like, you yeah. saw what happened to Dead Space 2. That happened on every planet throughout the entire galaxy. Like, they're all fucked. Yeah, absolutely. So, it's dumb. Like, maybe worry about that after all of you aren't in, like, immediate danger. One of my other complaints is you fight the same boss, like, three times in this game. Like, he yeah. just keeps running away, and I was really annoyed. I'm like, I don't want to fight him again. Like, I'm yeah. just annoyed. Yeah. And you and you fight a giant drill at some point? I don't know what that's about. That that part's cool. It's like, just confusing, but, like... It's... it's I don't know. I like that fight. Yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I also got into a glitch that you were talking about, Nate. Not in the chapter that you were talking about, but I did get a glitch where... It was near the end, like, chapter 17 or 18 or... Maybe, yeah, chapter 17 or 18, probably 18. I was running, and if I stopped moving... I would just split in half and die. Huh. Oh, really? Weird. Like, I mean, I could stop for a little bit, but like... Oh, I... oh yeah. No, that's is that's when you run into the boss. There's a vortex behind you. Are you... There is? Oh. Yeah, there's... It's, it's supposed I didn't to be see like, anything. It's supposed to be like the moon gathering everything up, so it's destroying the land, so you have to keep moving. Okay, because huh. I, I messed yeah. with the V-Sync like you told me, like you did, and I lowered all the graphics to make them really low, and then I didn't die at all. Yeah. I mean, so it, I think, could, it could be it could be once again a thing that's tied to the frame rate for huh. uh, PC, but yeah, there there is something behind you when you're I, running to that. I don't house. think it was that. It wasn't that part yet. I had to go like break things and shoot things, so I wasn't at the very end. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay. It was just really dumb. I'm like, this is. I think I know you're talking about. No, the last part I was running the whole time. I didn't have a problem. This yeah. was before that. This was. I think um, I'm, this was just the frame rate just eating me. Yeah. And like and like both of y'all had like glitch issues. I I honestly didn't didn't have a single problem with it. I don't know what if I just got really lucky, or if it's because Wait, of the PC I'm really, running. I think That's it's because I'm playing on PS3 and it's old. Like there was oh. there was a uh, a cutscene where you come up and Danik has Norton, or like Danik has your team. When that elevator opens, um, for the first like fifteen seconds of the cutscene, uh. Everyone was kind of like in uh, T pose or A pose, <laughs> like oh. standing. And then the cutscene started, and everyone just kind of fell into place. And I was like, "Oh, that's that's good." Hmm. Well, I can, well, guys... I can tell you, there was a lot of a, a lot of ragdolling like during the the cutscenes, and I don't know if that was yeah. meant to happen or not. Like, I think it was just the physics, just full on, just having a shit fit. But as far as the game itself, I didn't I didn't really see a lot of issues with it. But yeah, but yeah, now that you mention it, like the the cutscene and some of the faces were kind of weird. Yeah, right? the faces did not really hold up. Yeah, uh, was, I didn't uh, have that problem. Which is which is weird because I feel like La Noire came out around this time and it had great faces. Yeah, but they, they spent had, like, more money. They had um, yeah, I was gonna say they had like a custom face engine that they okay. scanned people's faces in. Also, oh, hell. The, the company doesn't exist anymore after that game. Before that game was even finished, they didn't exist because they spent. Well, yeah. Too much money. So much faces. money. Okay. Well, I feel like even the even the faces in Dead Space uh, Two look better than this one. I might yeah. just be looking at that game with rose colored glasses. No, I, I no, I I agree with you. No, because EA had a lot of hatred towards this company because it Dead Space One, Dead Space Two didn't make nearly the amount of money they wanted to, so they were mad coming into three. Well, it so seems that, like a yeah. Well, it seems like part. well, it seems like Dead Dead Space is kind of the unfortunate part where. It's this sort of epic horror, and unless you're Resident Evil, res or like epic horror, um, has got to be just incredibly difficult to pull off. Like, like, yeah. like, I mean, like on a financial sort of sort of standing. In that the sheer scale of what Dead Space is, it feels like that's almost impossible for that to be profitable. Well, that, they weren't doing the right thing. So I, I would I, not I be think, surprised. I think. I don't know. I have I have a weird defense of this game where like everyone was like, "Oh, it's not it's not scary anymore." Isaac doesn't get scared. It's scary. And I'm like, no, there were some scary parts. There were, but like, there's I feel like you know there is a lot less horror in the game. 
But I'm also like Isaac. This is the third time Isaac has had to deal with the Necromorphs. Like, and that's you know, and that's after, what I would say too. He should be like, pro. <laughs> yeah, like he's gonna see these things and he's gonna go, okay. Like ah, I'm just gonna kill God you. damn it. And not go Necromorphs ah. again. And they yeah. only have so many tricks that they can do. You know, they can only, right. they can only play play possum so many times. And yeah. the player is kind of in the same role as that. Presumably you played the first two games. Whereas the first game, you know, was much more, you know, like, you know, both you and Isaac were seeing them from the first for the first time ever. And you're basically just using like improvised mining tools to try to figure out a way to to kill these things. And then the second one is like, OK, this is like the movie Aliens now where there's a bunch of them and it's like action horror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, and and the third one kind of seems to be doing what Dead Space 2 did, but it's just like on this eldritch ultimate apocalyptic kind of ending where where it, it almost had the Mass Effect 3 kind of problem where you have to push the entire narrative uh, so far to such extremes that it cannot possibly live up to whatever you thought you might have had in mind for it if you're the developer. I mean, it was also, how can we reuse assets? How can we make this game cheaper? Oh, 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 I'm sure. I mean, um, that... especially, I mean, they must have needed to make up like a lot of budget for this game. So I can definitely see where a lot of corners were cut in this. Yeah, and, and that, I don't, yeah. That's the problem. Like, that's, I mean, I still had a lot of fun with this game. Like, I, I want to put that out there. Like, I enjoyed my oh, no, it's a very fun nine game. hours with it, I think, or so it took me to beat it. Like, I, I really had fun. Yeah. We haven't talked about the customization system. So they got rid of the money system that's in the game one and game two. And this time, as you kill enemies, they drop ammo, they drop health, and they drop this random ass MacGuffins that you then use and it's, to... And it is universal ammo as well. Like every yes. everything works in yeah. every gun. And I don't know how I feel about that. I liked what well, the other dead spaces do, where like it'll drop the ammo for the gun that yeah, you know, me one too. of the four guns that you are carrying. Well, I mean, when I play Dead Space, Dead Space only has one gun in all three games, so the yeah. plasma cutter. That's <laughs> all I use all <laughs> I three do games. I love that plasma cutter. I used it for I don't in this game. For two thirds of this game. It's shitty. Mostly mostly because the because the west the, the the weapon the customization frightened and confused me. Oh man. I know I mean, it, it was definitely a lot of fun and I definitely like fucked around with it, but I'm pretty sure it was made more for co-op and multiplayer. Nate, you want to take this one over? Cuz I know you were a big fan of this, right? <laughs> yeah, I love I love customizing weapons. My first playthrough I had my main gun was a Ripper and it had it every shot was bathed in acid. Nice. And then uh <laughs> I don't remember what I had on the bottom. doesn't matter because I mainly use the Ripper. Uh, this playthrough I had, uh, I just used like one of the pre-order DLC guns, which was like just a semi-auto on the top and a shotgun on the bottom. And then my second gun, I made a Ripper. Uh, the, every shot was bathed in acid. <laughs> and uh, the bottom, yeah, I just made the same gun, basically. Uh, and that's what carried me through the last uh, kind of third of the game. But I, I really like just how they really wanted to push you creatively with like creating weapons because there's no there's no negative to like dismantling an earlier weapon you made or a later weapon you made like you get all your materials back you get all your uh frames back your upgrade circuits and everything so you can really just kind of like dive in and make whatever you want and i think that's really cool yeah i didn't do any of that I took the plasma cutter. I eventually added the ripper blades on it, which were kind of useless for me. In that, and then for the late point, like he uh, shot like a magnum, but it didn't do anything. He looked like a magnum, and then boom, and it went up in the air. And the enemy just kept coming towards me. Like I did, like no, I did. You, you don't, you don't want the one that just shoots a blade. You want the suspended blades, and then they're you really hold good. it out, and then yeah. you just treat it like, and then you just treat it like a uh, weed whacker, right? Okay, yeah, I didn't have that. I just like, have the. I would shoot a blade. The one the one I made in this playthrough had a force gun on the bottom, so like I would shoot out the ripper blade and then if they got like super duper close I'd force gun and that would like push them back but I keep the blade back. spinning. Yeah. And the ripper is really good for those really skinny skeleton like creatures because they're so weak that they just run into the blades and they're dead. I remember like, those. just huddle in a corner. Those things suck. Yeah, <laughs> I, they don't hate, funny. I fucking hate those things. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of them. I mean, the the enemy, there aren't a lot of different enemies in this game. You have mostly things, the only new thing is those little guys that 
aren't really that different and humans. Yeah. 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 And you have hum- which it feels weird when you're like a brand new enemy to to well, dead space. Wait for it. Dude. <laughs> fucking moth in here. Um, <laughs> there's a there's one there's another new one too. It's the little parasite head thing that like crawls oh, over dead end oh, soldiers. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. about those. Yeah. Which pro tip, just stomp every body you see <laughs> you can to rip off all their limbs because they can't possess those enemies. So then it's just their weak asses and you can just shoot them dead. <laughs> okay. I didn't yeah, think that I would kick names. bodies because I wanted items. Yeah, I was doing yeah. that anyway just because I wanted more bullets. Because I can never believe, like, even though I have, like, 14 clips of ammo, I need more. Just oh, in for case. sure. Yeah. Never, you never know. I'm the same way. I mean, I actually started, I got one point in the game, I got low on ammo, then I went and bought a ton of ammo, and then I was good for the rest of the game. One, one, one thing I do wish is is you carry two guns. Mm-hmm. Which I guess, but but I guess you also have, like, the underside, and you can customize and do stuff with. But um, it might just me, be me being, like, super greedy, but... I kind of wish I had four, each with two on there, and I could just mix and match for my yeah. for my like ADD fun. I mean, you, but it would have been you, more fun to have more guns. I mean, yeah. Again, I it wouldn't affect me because I only use the plasma cutter in every Dead Space game. Because uh, I, I mean, can't. just so. just kind of make it like Doom. I mean, they're kind of acting like Doom Three anyway. So just why not just give you a, <laughs> just just go full on just real Doom with it and give you a whole bunch of guns with a whole bunch of stuff you can do. And just mix and match just for the sheer hell of it. I didn't like the crafting. Like, I would upgrade all the chips, and I did all that, and I mm. unlocked all the chips. But I, I tried messing with the gun, but I didn't understand the, what I was doing either. Like, I was in the same boat as Cody. Like, I just it didn't make any sense to me when I put stuff yeah. together. I'm like, I don't understand what I'm doing or how this works, and I don't like it. There is an option in the main menu, too, that is just like a weapon crafting arena where it just imports your like saved materials and stuff. And you can just like fuck around and create whatever you want without it affecting your main progress. Oh, but also, if you don't have the right parts, EA will sell them to you. Hooray. You can can buy extra scavenger bots. And for $10, you can give them a different voice, Mike. Did you know that? That's true. They but like even at launch none of that microtransaction stuff was ever pushed into your face. Like, they no, never, like anytime you popped into a bench, it never popped up and was like, hey, don't you wish your scavenger bot was back by now? Like, for $5, you can buy this. Like, it never <laughs> did that. You know, this you is know? this definitely was a much simpler time. Like, I mean, you could tell this was still, like, in its infancy in that yeah. the way that the micro transactions work. Like, I never really felt like it was necessary, and that might have been just because I was playing on super little easy baby mode it's but it's I never felt like a necessary needed. on the harder difficulties yeah i didn't really yeah. feel like okay it. i mean it was just funny that it was there to me yeah, yeah. it just seems it feels it feels like something that ea told them they had to include microtransactions oh, yeah. so they did but they never like put in any code that would like remind the player about the microtransactions no i would just see them because it would say download content a lot like oh do you want more suit dlc do you want more part yeah. dlc and i'm like eh, fuck you i don't care your scavenger bots will bring back uh ration seals which can only be used like in the dlc thing but you can buy like three tiers of them with different with various amounts of ration seals so I used that, <laughs> like, when I got to 60, I think I bought, like, the super cool one and got, like, uh, Mark V stasis support. So. Well, and I would say that you've played this game enough to actually make that worth <laughs> your while. I mean, you've definitely gotten a lot of hours in some Dead Space 3. Oh, yeah. But no, yeah. I, I've never I've never spent a dime on the game. Like, it's all just, yeah. like, the in-game currency that the right. scavenger bots bring. I almost did, I almost okay. did buy a scavenger bot uh, just quick pack. You know, to get them back faster. And I was like, actually, I don't think I need that. Yeah. But no, this was definitely, I, I you could definitely, uh, you know, in the same way that the weapon crafting is, I think that Dead Space 3 definitely fell at a time that was a bit of transition to what gaming would be. This is like nine, nine years ago. Like, A, definitely the micro transactions, but also the crafting as well. Yeah. And then I felt like, like that weapon crafting was probably just incredibly novel at the time and like these days i feel like I can literally every every game has, has it. it yeah like like uh i don't know when skyrim came out but i know that was like a thing in skyrim with the alchemy and the armor crafting and things like that and then you know just 
man, there's there have been custom weapons and everything. There's been Stardew Valley <laughs> where you're building and crafting. And then and then there's that one game with the blocks where where you mine stuff and then you make Minecraft. Things. No, that's not right. Okay. And then and then you craft them. Scrolls stuff that you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you're thinking of scrolls. Bingo. Thank you, Nate. Mike, catch up. Catch up. Mike. Oh God, I remember <laughs> scrolls. <laughs> Yeah, I just I I just wish we could have gotten a Dead Space Four where they just kind of like really blew out the weapon crafting system. Yeah, and I bet they would have. Yeah, because like you know, on, honestly, it's still I don't know. It, maybe it's just like the Neanderthal brain in me or the nostalgic brain in me. But like I just love seeing that little menu and going like, okay, I'm gonna like you know make a new tip for my gun, and instead of it being just a you know a rifle, now it is a fully automatic rifle. No, I mean that's a cool thing. Like I'm, gl- I mean you are right. In like 2013, it wasn't a thing as much as it is now, where every game has crafting. Yeah. I mean it, it's still cool in this game. Like I didn't have a problem. I mean I was just upset that my gun wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be, like it is in you know Dead Space yeah. One and Two. But that's a me problem, not the game right. problem. The game's like use more weapons. I'm like, no, you can't make me. I don't wanna. I'm the plasma cutter guy. <laughs> Isaac sure. is he, he has a phobia of anything that's not a plasma cutter mm-hmm. and this is my head cannon it's so. all because of the achievement the first time i played the game i used different weapons and when i saw there was an achievement the second time i went through the game i only used a plasma cutter and now i've beaten dead space one three more times since that <laughs> date i've beaten dead space two twice i've beaten dead space three twice i still only use plasma cutter Using so only the plasma <laughs> cutter yeah all the time uh, i played the series i'll play the series again i'm sure at some point in my life so see and i and i would like to follow up on nate who said that that he that he wants the, the game to be even further pushed i almost want a dead space four that does like a resident evil seven alien isolation kind of you're thing you're kind of getting that yeah you're getting that in the remake oh we're well, getting a remake went, of the first one hey cody I, they're remaking dead space it. one yeah I, it comes out in something. january supposedly. i heard something about that i am <laughs> so out of touch with anything well uh, I say I say supposedly me. because they announced that the release date was in January and then there has been nothing else about the game since. It, and like this was after like the developers kept like doing little live streams to show like animations and like how the guns were working uh, in this one and yeah and now it's just been radio silence and I'm like god I hope we get that in January. Are you telling me don't thought- okay. No, it's just COVID times. So <laughs> and with how quiet it is but, but like there was to get, something posted to get, 10 oh, days sorry. ago. Oh, was there? See, I literally Googled it yesterday and it brought up something from like a few months huh. ago where they said it was coming out in 2023. See, and I knew uh, nothing about this at all. So, yeah. like, I thought it was just going to be like a reskinned version of the same. Of no, the first complete. game. Make of the first game. Yeah. They're oh, re- hell yeah. Making it. And it's going to uh, be like their Resident Evil 7 version. Oh, hell yeah. Well, they I mean, said that they said the only reason they're doing it. Uh, is because they saw how successful the Resident Evil 2 remake is. Well, so that yeah. kind of that kind of gives me hope that they're going to include like new story stuff in there too. Well, this well, I mean this game just is Resident Evil 4. I know that we've oh, discussed sure. this on 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 the other one, but just in a nutshell, the original Dead Space was supposed to be System Shock 3. Yes. And then they switched it over after they saw Resident Evil 4 and then they just made it its whole other thing. Which just it's it's fascinating Which, kind of the progression of things. And oh, bio, yeah. Did you know, Cody, that they're also remaking Resident Evil Four and that's coming out in March next year? I didn't know there was a release. I'd heard room. Man, I yeah. am so out of touch. I need. Yeah. To, I need. So I like, need if we get listen, Dead Space, man, Dead Space One remake, start, Resident Evil listening. Four, like <laughs> it's gonna be a good year for horror. God, I need to start listening to like video game podcasts. <laughs> are, are there are there any good ones that you know of, Mike? I mean, I would say mine, but I don't talk news, so you won't get what uh, you sure. won't get it from this me. Is, Player One podcast, news. I will always yeah, recommend though. This no, this is the only like this is the most you, news you've ever talked about on this podcast. No, in the beginning we tried that, and we would talk about news at the end after we talked about mm-hmm. our game, but that was like in the very like first three yeah. episodes, maybe or four. It mm-hmm. not, we I cut it yeah. real quick, and I'm like, this is I not was, what I want. I don't even remember ever hearing you talk about. And it didn't I last. and I never get on Twitter ever, which is where I would probably see. That's this. good. No, I, I swore Never off do that. Twitter back in 2016 for no for no reason. There's no reason mm. I would have quit Twitter back in 2016. I've never looked back. I have no reason yeah. to ever go on Twitter again. Well, don't worry. He's not on Twitter either. What? He's oh, yeah. Twitter. The guy. The guy that they, they got me off Twitter. Well, it's it's his fan club <laughs> just as much. Yeah. I see a lot of his fan club. I got, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I will, too, tomorrow, or when I drive two hours in the northern part of the state, I will see signs, too, and say 2020 or 2020. Like, yeah, buddy, that is 2022. Yeah. Good luck. And take down your Did you guys like, because one thing that really stuck out to me this playthrough is the descent onto Tavalantis, where you're in the ship, and that oh, whole sequence. Yes. Oh, yeah. That is... That was still like my fingers were just clutching the controller, and I was like, "I gotta make it through the rings!" Like, yeah. I gotta, it was I cool. Gotta... Yeah, no, no, that was all pretty. Dumb. I think I, I like do. The... No, I do. I do like, and and they really got this right in Dead Space too. But they also kept it going here. Is those epic kind of space explodey moments where everything's sort of grand and and you like? I I love those those kind of moments where it just kind of pulls back and you're on your jetpack or 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 you're holding on to to the side of something and it just feels out of fucking control man i yeah but yeah abs absolutely any any of those kinds of moments just beautiful then very the, cinematic then games yeah. then you're on the planet and you don't and you're i was worried because i forgot that your suit breaks and you have a cold meter and <laughs> yeah, i was using I was using the N7 suit because I like how uh, stylish it looks. And I was like, oh, I should have been using some dumb fucking looking suit. Because now I got to switch my suit. But the game lets you go back. Like, I, I was able to yeah. select the N7 suit again and it was fixed. And I was like, oh, I want to get to the, yeah. the point where, like, I thought, I mean, when I first, that first happened, like, I'm not playing Lost Planet. <laughs> well, like, that's, that's and, to me. And, in, and in my brain, I had swapped out Dead Space 3 and Lost Planet planet so like so like in my brain i'm like dead space three when they're like giant bugs in in the snow and that and you're like no it was lost, snow but it was lost planet one and three <laughs> it was it was monsters those are good games. i i like lost planet one i never played never, it yet. never played him i just know him by the I've, trailer i played the first one and i never beat it, it got it's, too hard for me it gets hard i beat it before the show and i beat it for the show one of our early episodes one of our like really early episodes we covered it for some reason hmm. did some weird shit earlier so <laughs> <laughs> don't don't we all mike we all we all do some weird shit er, very early on you can you can take that however you want which for me is twice as you know <laughs> also i want to comment about the rosetta stone part because we have to mention that that weirdness so at one part in order to get information to figure out what the hell this machine does or where it is or whatever the hell you're trying to figure out you have to find a diced up alien parts in this complex and then you have to put it to back together which then somehow lets Isaac know what to do. And then it makes you go back and think of the menu for this game. And you go, oh, yeah. that's what that was. Yeah. Which is um, pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. It was weird. Oh, yeah. I, I, th I thought it was cool because it's like, because you boot up the game and you're like, I don't understand what's going on. And then it's like one of those reveals where you're like, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just, it's a weird story. Like, I mean, the game that we didn't I think, make. I the think game the comes part... out with the, sorry, you go. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I think the part with the machine is because it was the dead, like the dead aliens who created the machine. So they have like their special language. So that's why they needed to like assemble the alien to uh, maybe I didn't uh, don't understand this. But basically, it's like that alien communicates to this codex device, like what the pattern it needs to use to turn off the machine or to use the machine. The, something to do because the original like cutscene, the first part of this game, you play as somebody else 200 years ago who was trying to turn off this machine, which is never really explained in this game, but it had to do with like sovereign other nations that were had to do with energy crisis, and that so they were all killed themselves. And you see a guy shoot his buddy, and then yeah, erase the machine. But yeah, it was all a bunch of weirdness because they thought the markers give him energy. The whole game about energy crisis, potentially. I mean, it is. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, you're not you're not wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <just laughs> yeah. Oh, and another thing I don't think it's ever ever mentioned, but it was in the YouTube video I was watching. At least I don't, don't remember it. Apparently, necromorphs are the only alien thing that humans have ever encountered before. They haven't encountered any living beings other than themselves in the entire universe. Which is, I I gotta feel like that is some unusual yeah sci-fi because I feel like even in Alien, even in even in the first one, they're aware of other things, even if they don't like directly reference it because they're like oh we gotta we 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 gotta seek this thing out it's some kind of a extraterrestrial being like as in as in the imply of they've encountered some shit before at some point like yeah. this isn't breaking mankind kind of thing so i can't really think of another established or a let's see the best way to put this another <laughs> shot sci-fi genre 
in which human beings are already well established in space and still haven't made any kind of contact. I don't think so either, because in most things I, I'm have like stuff. Interstellar. I can't think of one either. Like Interstellar, maybe I think is the only one mm-hmm. that you could kind of do that with. Never watched uh, that. It's it's a pretty good movie. I like it. It's 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 a little long, and the ending is a little disappointing. But then again, so is my love making. So I can't <laughs> criticize too much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, right. thank you. I, um, I'm here. At all one night. point, you see Ellie almost die in this game, or you think Ellie dies? Spoilers: She doesn't die. But I, I, thought I that for was... sure thought she did. Me she too. I'm like, oh, I was like, I was like, killed her. Okay. Man, like, I was like, I do not remember that. But yeah, I guess because you know you like because the end of the game is like Isaac dies. Like he basically yeah. does not survive. But I yeah, was, I was like, Ellie. oh damn! I I was like, I forgot yeah. they killed her, and then she showed up, and I was like, oh fuck! <laughs> like, now, Ellie should have died. <laughs> Right? Like, we can all agree with that? Like, yeah, she should have. And I love Ellie, but Isaac made a dumb move, and I looked this up a little bit. But, like, you she could have the... jumped over that gas. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that high. She got over it some other way. Yeah, she I She went through so. the vents, she said. But it's the dumbest um, move when it's like when it's like you're holding the gun to the girl's head, and you're like, give me the the the, the MacGuffin or all, or the girl's coming with me. And he's like, all right, no, I'm not going to. No, I, I, yeah, I, I hate that trope. I hate that trope. Because yeah. you're like, no, some things are more... I know it sucks, and you love her, but also there's going to be a moon made of monsters, you dumb <laughs> son of a bitch. There's an eldritch horror, a giant... I you're mean, you're going to get swallowed um, by something. And it's have to one of those things fish. where either you just, kill her, and you get the thing from the bad guy, or yeah. you let the bad guy, bad guy do the thing, and then you both die anyway together. So, yeah. shoot that, her. And that, and that gets done so much. And it's either like... it's It's either you give up the girl, and things work out, or you give him what he wants anyway, and you it still works. No, never Did once, it, never once Isaac, in a movie. What's up? Doesn't Isaac say no? Like I'm not because I thought he was like thought he didn't want to give him the codex, and then Carver throws like grabs it and throws it at him. Or does Isaac give Danik the codex? I need to go back and look at. I it. I don't was, remember. I, I literally just bit. played this yesterday, and I can't remember. But I thought like one of them was just like no, don't do it. Like, I'm sure it you know, don't don't give him that codex. You weren't playing for the awesome story. You were playing just to, for the for that Ellie. Yeah. For the, oh, I for mean, the, the, yeah, for, for the, the giant for the giant moon <laughs> monster for that for that hardcore mode. Are you, you going to go for the platinum trophy now? You can't be that far away, I'm assuming. I have a save in the middle of a pure survival run and I just need to find I need to didn't realize I was missing a co-op trophy of reviving my co-op partner 10 times because I guess when I played it co-op, we were just too good at the game. I was and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and so I need to find someone with a PlayStation 3 and a copy of Dead Space 3 who is willing to sacrifice their life for me so I can revive them. If I had PS Plus, I'd go for it, but I don't have PS Plus, and I'm assuming I, I would need uh, Online is free on the PlayStation 3. All right. Maybe. Wow. I, I do not I own a PS3. I tried, I do. My brother does, and I was like, do you have Dead Space 3? And he's like, no. And I was like, oh, you should find a copy for no particular reason. <laughs> Yeah, I'll help you um, out. It wouldn't take long. It it shouldn't. But going back to like just the Necromorphs being the only alien creature humanity has ever found, it kind of makes sense considering that they put markers like everywhere, and society tends to like when they make discoveries, they tend to want to investigate. So it's like super easy to corrupt, you know. Like, so, a society by just being like, come get this thing and put... Like, they do it in the first game. They're like, what is this thing? Put it on yeah. the ship. And then it fucks everything up. And, and the they government know. is like, yeah, bring Let's the ship back. Like, and we still huh. don't know who, who who built those things, do we? Like, the marker, the the, the, the markers? Because the, uh, the, the f- alien race they found was just trying to figure it out, too. So it's, assumed, it's assumed to be whatever the moon monster was. The giant fish that was in there? Yeah, the, basically, it looked, it looked like a they built maze. they build the markers to create because like once that moon was built, it was going mm-hmm. to connect to other moons of the yeah. same thing and like bring it to their their part of space so that they could okay. consume that part of space and then move on. So that was always there because I'm I'm still confused as to like yeah the marker the markers from what I understand of the lore have always been there. Uh, so if they've always been there, then it's safe to assume, like, the alien race you find in Dead Space 3, they found the markers and were trying yep. to understand it, and then they okay. built the machine to, like, freeze the planet. So Tom yeah, Atlantis was not always frozen. Yeah, it was a big they water froze planet. It. Yeah, yeah because they otherwise, froze it. 
the whole so galaxy. That, which yeah. is still, I, I mean, and, and that's where it got a little bit too like eldritch horror for me. That mm-hmm. got very Reapers in in Mass Effect, but, <laughs> yeah. but more confusing. So that's kind of <laughs> yeah. where I was with it. Well, they're just like they're instead of just like because the Reapers spoilers for Mass Effect want societies to grow so that they can consume them and their knowledge. But the just Necromorphs, enough. But just yeah, enough. Just because enough. because the Reapers are Amish. We have a, we've established this. <laughs> just enough technology, not too much. <laughs> well they give I, them they give they give those society the technology and then society studies it and learns and they grow and they use it and then the Reapers come and go, okay, well now we're just gonna end you. And the Necromorphs are basically just like, we want to be the only thing in existence. And that's like the whole point of make us whole is that and, yeah. when they take over, everyone will be like a hive unit. It will be like, they'll have like one the brain. So they'll know each, yeah. Food Resistance space. is futile. Yeah. And the so board. there's, and that's, and that's what Danik's yeah. whole thing is with his church or with the church of unitology is that, you know, he's like constantly going, Hey, there will be no wars. Like, it will just be peace. He tells Isaac, like, everyone you loved will come back because they're going to be, like, you will be a monster and they're already monsters. <laughs> and you're all so, dead. Like, yeah. It makes a compelling point here. Me or know. Danny? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I Is mean, this a good time to promote my new religion? <laughs> Unitology, man. I could go for a cult right about now, as long as you don't keep me from drinking well, beer. I'm, I'm, so it shouldn't be. God, I forget. There is a cult. Uh, no, I think it's in. Oh, there's there's a few, man. No, I know, but uh, later day later day saint something, not Jehovah Witness, but the or not the Mormons, but the one that broke off from the Mormons that yeah. has a cult somewhere in Texas. The F the FLDS. Yes, the FLDS. You yeah. can go find them. Right? I'm not getting sued talking bad okay. about any any kind of cult. They always have some kind of lawyer, I swear to God. Someone's at your door. <laughs> oh, my God. And I live out in the woods, so, I mean, this is going to turn it into, like, Ruby Ridge or some shit if somebody's out, out here. <laughs> All right. Any last thing? Oh, we should talk about the music. We haven't talked about the music yet. So you had mentioned this, Nate, before we started recording, that the music, music. <laughs> there isn't. I mean, there's music when you're being attacked, I think, right? Yeah, there's music in the game. Uh, it is not good, in my opinion. No, uh, no, because it's too it's too soaring epic yeah. music, and then in combat it lessens the tension because when you kill the last alien or the last necromorph, it just cuts off, and then you, so know, you know that they're all gone. Exactly. So you know that they're over. But like when you're fighting like the the stalkers, like in the snow mm-hmm. and stuff that oh it's such a <laughs> i don't know i really like the feeling of just like god i hope that was it you know and then you yeah. move forward and then you hear Rah! and you're like oh shit <laughs> no that that but i, I mean... don't know i have not heard anything of the music other than like the first few like the first prologue and then i turned it off like the first time i played and then whatever plays in the menu music while you're trying to jam start to start the game I only saw that a few times. How about you? I saw a few more times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And something that I try to do here every so many episodes, I'm going to give away a Steam code. Ooh. Ooh. Today is going to be Bomber Crew. What that is, I don't know. It's yours. It's some kind uh, of crew of bomber or bombers. You're going to want to turn the music off in Bomber Crew, too. I don't know. Wait, wait, no. Are 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 you also gonna want to turn it, or are you gonna want to turn it off in the second Bomber Crew game? You said in Bomber Crew Two. I don't doubt when you play Bomber Crew. Ooh. I don't want to ruin the. So someone gets a free Steam code. Uh, Steam code is V C N eight G W L M X seven five eight L W Y. That is your Steam code for Bomber Crew. What that is, I have no idea. I've had it's it better, for... It's, it has to be better than Postal that you gave away in Dead Space 2. <laughs> oh, I forgot that we gave away Postal. <laughs> I don't know. It came, a game came out, I have no idea what the hell it is. It's just some random game I got in a fanatical bundle that I've been meaning to get rid of. Why not? So Congratulations, lucky listener. Tell us how it is. I will probably <laughs> never hear it. It's just one of those random ones. I'm like, nobody's going to want it. Hang on. Hang hey, on. Let, me, let me look up the Steam review and see how many stars it has while while you're reading other stuff here, Mike. Right, go, um, you guys ready to go on to questions, comments, or memories? Yeah, why not? All right. 
Let's see. I actually got a oh, few. Oh, wait. Sorry. Hold on. Sorry. Sure. Hold on. So in Dead Space 1, all the chapters spell out something. In Dead you Space 2, they didn't that. do that. Do you know what they spell out in Dead Space 3? Tell us. Give us money. Brother Moons are awake. Boo! Yeah. Boo! I'm Boo. with him. I like I don't the know. Dead better. Listen, it, I, I think the moon angle is really cool. Like, that is cool. To me, that is cool sci-fi where they realize that, oh my god, this, like, we are going to be consumed by the moon. You can definitely think that. <laughs> <laughs> I will. It's I not as... It's fine. Credence Clearwater fine, fine, Revival fine. tried to warn us. They said there's a bad moon rising, and they meant... Don't go out, oh, no. wait, oh, wait, oh, you're pulling you me that. back in. You're pulling in CCR. I might I might be back on your page now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read right, some... Hang on, hang what on. If, very, what if, very what if CCR important. plays during that fight, but I don't ever know because I don't have the music on? <laughs> I had the music on. I mean, that would be cool. I see. Okay, oh, oh, wait, Mike, I, I have something very important, Okay. <laughs> All I see is your elbow and some weird picture in the background of some guy's face. Bomber Crew is very positive on Steam. And it is similar to the world or to uh, the game Jurassic World Evolution, which I have also played. Okay. So it was made in. Yeah. So it looks to be really good. So whoever is going to play Bomber Crew, they're probably going to have a good time. I just thought you should know that. Gun, Gun to my head. Captain Norton style. I would not have guessed that it was a Jurassic World Evolution game. I would have, not have guessed, guessed that Bomberman see... clone. Yeah, no, no. It seems I... like you're building planes of some kind. Yeah. And then you get to fly them around and do cool stuff. You get you you get to customize like World War II era planes and put guns on them. And you have cute little guys and you get to name them. This game actually looks really fun. I might buy it. I am. I am not Just even listen to the episode. Viewer. And then get the be... <laughs> All right. Let me let me, let me write that down. It was V. Five. Yeah, you gotta on. listen to the episode. You gotta listen God to the episode. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Uh, first from the official Laser Time community, I got a, I got some, I got some comment. I love those guys. I do too. That's how we met. Yeah, Cody. exactly. A long, I think a long ass time ago. At this point, I'm I feel in there. Like. Yeah. I'm, this, this is pre-COVID. Yeah. All right. From Sean Connell, it's not a terrible game, but it is the worst of the trilogy. I quite enjoyed the weapon crafting system and the cold planet atmosphere is a great choice for a setting. But every time you have to fight against human enemies with a fucking cover system, I wanted to take a plasma cutter to my own head. What an absolute joke. And what happens to Ellie from Dead Space 2 is a traversity. She goes from a competent badass in her own right who deserved her own game to not exactly a damsel, but shoved into a love triangle side plot where she doesn't get to do much besides run talk to Isaac over the comp. And has a bigger butt. I, I agree with about two thirds of what that person said. And if you want to know which... Two thirds. That is. Uh, go back and listen to the entire episode again. You weren't paying attention. <laughs> yeah. I have good news for this person because Ooh. I looked up Dead Space Four before we recorded, <laughs> and apparently Ellie was going to be the protagonist. That makes uh, me happy in the game. Wait, 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 wait. So, so you're going to be behind her the entire time. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, at least from from what it sounded like, at least for like maybe the first half of the game, because later on in the paragraph, it did mention that they wanted Isaac to kind of like be an unreliable narrator. OK, to Carver. So I don't know okay. if you would like switch between Ellie and Carver and Isaac would just be like fucked up and like telling you things that were kind of like Dross from Dead Space 2, where, you know, he's telling Isaac, you got to do these steps, man. I can kind of fuck with that. That actually sounds yeah. pretty good. Like I said, I really wish they would have gotten to make Dead Space yeah. 4. Like that yeah. Yeah, would have been cool to see yeah. how they took the story, but we'll never know. No. Nope. Maybe nope. we'll get another we'll get more onto the remake, but who knows? Yeah. I mean, more, they'll, well, more novels. They'll remake Dead Why Space not? 1, 2, and 3, and then EA will be like, don't fucking do this. <laughs> well, someone needs to get the license away from EA, so yeah, somebody. Yeah. All right, from Nathan Bigler. It was an all right game. I thought it set up the plot for a Dead Space 4 to be epic, but we all know that didn't happen. I can't get excited for a reboot when the original story was incomplete. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, from pretty much. Doug Defractus. My absolute. Who's, who's, Defractus. who's Doug? I've never heard of that guy before. I haven't either. But he's, he's in the group. Doug. He, sound, he sounds like a dork. Oh, you, maybe you do know him. <laughs> no, I do. Okay. I, I, met him, I, I, like, I, I, saw, I saw him at the beach like uh, two weeks ago. Oh, that little random beach where you were catching crabs yeah. in the middle of the night? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he he lives close to there, and I went, and I had a few 
Beers Bus. So what was that a name of Van the Beach to tell everybody in Texas to go to and not make it a band name? Um, it, is, it is Galveston. Go and, go and visit Galveston <laughs> Island. Do not visit the one that I actually went to. All right. <laughs> Never tell anybody. And he said, absolutely love the first two Dead Space games. This was such a slog, I couldn't even finish it. It felt like they went from alien to aliens and they had to keep following the series so they made something that sucks. <laughs> That is the most Doug thing I've ever heard. I mean, Alien 3 does suck. Okay, that's a bad movie. Yeah, no, it is terrible. I mean, I like Alien... It did give us that one scene where the Xenomorph sticks out its tongue really close to Ripley. Alright, that scene's been memed so many times, though. Oh my god. That's a good scene. I like the one when did get that basketball on, like, the third try, though. That's that's the best part of that movie. No, that's Resurrection, I thought. Oh, I don't fuck it. Resurrection, I like. Oh, that was bad. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't care. I can at least watch three. Resurrection is unwatchable. Par- apparently, they're mixing together in- inside of my brain. So, so that lets you know what I think of them. That's okay. The, the I haven't watched. I mean, alien movies. I mean, you get the Prometheus movies, and those aren't even that great, from what I remember. Yeah. Okay. And from Michael Irving, I'm going to read some of this. Uh, my best friend, my best friend, and I played a lot of Dead Space Three when it first came out. I can honestly say that playing it with the last real time. We spent bonding together, and we had to go unlocking all the trophies together. We never did beat it in the hardest difficulty. There were so many moments where we'd all just be flying around in space, launching air canisters or space junk at each other, or we just come up with a song while stomping around. We also came up with the dumbest ideas for weapons, combinations, and shooting at our own boys that were collecting crafting parts. All right. That's a pretty sweet memory. That's that's really nice. Yeah. And from Giant Bomb, I got a few. I'm glad. I was surprised. A lot of people had things to say about this game. From sure. Andrew Rafoski, God, that game. It's so fun, but God, you can literally point to the corporate meddling for what killed it. The co-op that was shoehorned in but was surprisingly good and the totally shit universal ammo system to go along with surprisingly fun weapon crafting system and cutting the ending and making it DLC and just isn't even available on PC, so get fucked if you play it there, I guess. I it's it, not on PS? It's it's not on PC? I think it's on PC now. Cause like, I yeah, was, it's on oh, PC. I could buy it. I was like... I was like, I damn, that it. sucks because that DLC I got a bundle is, and I played it. Is yeah. good. I would I would say though it's almost the other way around where where it feels like the single player was shoehorned into a into a a what should have been a strictly co op game. So I, I said, I, mm-hmm. sorry, I think I remember that that co op wasn't even like EA's thing. Like I think Visceral wanted to make it yeah. co op from the get go. Well, yeah, that felt like a co op game, and like single player was like missing part of it. Uh, Nate, yeah. Awaken is the ending, right? Awaken yeah. is the DLC, yeah. Okay, that's like the what the real ending. That's is. like the real ending, yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, be- I don't know the game. The game ends like it. It, it okay. ends, and it has yeah. that. It has the post credits tease where Isaac is calling out for Ellie, but you don't know if it's a transmission that makes its way that. through space. Yeah. Did you did you sit through the credits? Oh, of course not. I turned off the game. Like I beat it. I'm done. Oh, <laughs> no. So like at after the credits roll, which they. There's no mute, so I didn't have music playing. And at like my wife was sitting on the couch with me, and it's just silence. And she looks up and she goes, "Is there supposed to be music?" And I was like, "Yeah, probably." <laughs> and then it goes on for so long that when Isaac goes, "Ellie," she jumped. Ah! She was like it was like, <laughs> just been so quiet. So the scariest like, part of the Ellie? game, right there. Yeah, but anyway, there's there's that trans there's the transmission that. Okay. comes out from yeah. Isaac that is just like, you know, and this was before the DLC was announced, so it's just like, oh my god, is he actually alive? Okay, I'm I'm okay with that then. I do want to try the DLC. We might do it at some point as a mini, but we'll see if I care yeah. enough to buy it. So The DLC, when I played it, felt more like it was building up to like Dead Space 4, which I was like, oh shit, this is but cool. I don't care and then, so much. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still a really good, it's still really fun to play. Okay, if it goes on sale. Yeah. Anyway. I'll buy it. Then Rolf, you would do a recording, so we shall see. Where's mom? Okay. No, please don't make me play more of this fun game. Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from Jacob Robinson. I played it on 360 and remember having a weird bug with the first disc, to be exact, but it would freeze every 45 minutes and it would play fine on the second disc. Hmm. The game isn't Dead Space 2, which I consider one of the best games from that generation, but it's a fun game. Here's a good one from Stephen Kess. It was a hell of a Lost Planet game from Lost... <laughs> and Lost Planet 3 was a hell of a Dead Space game. I never played Lost oh. Planet 3 yet. But I, I never played Lost Planet, any of them. No, they're okay. 2 is really good for... 2 is one of those like co-op games. You get four buddies together and shoot big bugs. That's the whole perfect. point of the game. Oh, perfect. And from Zaheer Merchant, great game, bad Dead Space. Right, you know, no, I, you know I, I could actually kind of get on board with that. 
All right, and here's one, again, talking about from Alex Arona. A note for you, the real ending to the series doesn't come with this game, but the Dead Space 3 DLC, so make sure you play the DLC. Noted. Okay. I'm going to have to replay this DLC because I legitimately do not remember much from it other than it setting up events for, like, a possible Dead Space 4. Okay, it goes on sale, but I'm not paying 10 bucks for yeah. it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play through it tonight or tomorrow. Okay. Like, to just see, like, be like, what? why is of everyone course, like, this is the true ending? And it's like, no, I don't think it was. Come back and tell me. All right. And last one from this group that I'm going to read from Michael McCarthy. Worst Dead Space, still a great game. Okay. Yeah. And I got one comment from Dead Space fans group from TC Goss. I played the beginning and put it down. Didn't like it for some reason. I think that's oh. that bad first. That's like what, what yeah. I what I talked about like an hour and a fucking half ago is, <laughs> is that first that, that that bad taste you get in your mouth in the first half hour of this game. Yeah. I think soured it for a lot of people. I would highly agree. Yeah. Yeah. It gets it gets much better. I Go agree back with that. through it, play up until you get to the Roanoke, and then see if you still don't like it. And from the last group, Dead Space Universe. Oh, you must have gotten a ton of responses. I did not ask. We got a few. <laughs> well, the moon got them. <laughs> uh, from Kyrian Taylor, it's in my top ten favorite games. Oh, oh here's one I have to read hey. from Greg Taylor. Following your podcast on Spotify. Look forward to listening to your work. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, Greg, you are one of the real ones. <laughs> I had to read that. OK, and here's tell, his actual comment. Tell the first person who said it's in his top 10 games to listen to the podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I will. be. Don't worry. I'll be plugging this in the, in the link there. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this one from also awesome Greg Taylor, his comment was DS1 was just pure genius to me. The perfect mix of tension, horror and action. I love DS2 when they develop a voice for Isaac. It added a nice touch. DS3 for me was a bit of a disaster, but I don't think I even bothered finishing it if I remember correctly. Giving the enemies weapons was a huge mistake, and some of the rooms just had far too many enemies spawning at once. It made it a frantic Call of Duty-style shooter rather than a survival horror in space. Mm. Yeah, at times. Yeah. Yeah. And from Robert Eric Neighbors Jr., it's not as good as one or two is all that's ever really said about it. There's a lot of bad shit said about it, too. Yeah. <laughs> And let's see, I got this one from Daniel Corey. It's a decent game, just not a very good Dead Space game. Playing in co-op makes this much better experience, and that is how the developers intended it. I mean, they did not even bother reducing enemy count when playing solo. Yeah, I can. Oh. Yeah, that's another. Hence why I said I feel like this was a this was definitely a co-op game that kind of kind of got soured if you tried to play it single yeah. player. I mean, I had fun, but I, I agree with that too. Yeah. All right, and then last one I'm going to read uh, from Cam Ward. As somebody who doesn't actually like the game, there were great moments. I love exploring space in tall Volantis orbit. Going through all the old ships was so cool. Once you land on the planet, the one mission where you have to keep your body heat up was a highlight for me. The game goes straight downhill from there. The crab boss is boring. Fighting unitology was stupid, too. I want to fight aliens, not guys with guns. The ending left a bad taste in my mouth, too. Okay. Yeah, fair. I can agree with all that. Mm-hmm. All right, we should go to Shelf Stacker Box. And Nate, why don't you go first? This is on my shelf, I think. This is the best Dead Space game. I really like it. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Cut that out and send it to people for I it. was, uh, <laughs> you should. I was worried. <laughs> I, I was worried going back to this game uh, that I wouldn't like it as much because I, like I said, I remember loving it in 2013. And then like, it was just like nice, cozy pair of slippers. I just yeah. sunk right back into it and I was sucked in all over again. <laughs> Beautiful. I was worried that you would have the game my mom found effect where you play a game that you remember loving, you go back, you're like, oh fuck. That was that was seriously my fear. I was like, oh man, what if it I don't like it as much? But no, nah, this game still kicks ass. <laughs> Plus, when you beat classic mode, you get the devil horns, which is just a foam glove. Yeah. And Ronnie Isaac James goes, Dio, you know, the old the old like yeah. rock on. Yeah. And Isaac goes, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and it's good. <laughs> okay. What do you get for money. beating? What do you really get for beating uh, hard, hardcore mode? What do you What do you earn? Uh, well, you get the less exciting eight bit mode, which looks like what? they just smeared Vaseline over everything. And yeah, it's not like a really eight bit. It's just a really bad graphic filter. Oh, yeah. But oh, I was surprised oh. to find out that on even the PS3, you could just like in game, you could go in the options and turn it off and on, and there were no checkpoint restarts or anything like that. So. Huh. That was kind of surprising to see. Huh. This doesn't look 8-bit. This just looks ugly. It, yeah, it looks terrible. I'm and that's surprised what you get for all your trouble? Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't put the foam finger behind Hardcore and put 
eight bit behind classic, but what is classic anyway? That it's the game, but all of the weapons are classic Dead Space weapons. So you can't customize, like you can't build your customize. own guns. Yeah, like you okay. have to build yeah, the it. plasma cutter. Yeah, okay. you have to build the pulse rifle or line gun. So I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, yeah no, it's I'm, it's a fun I'm, mode. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I am, even I am looking at oh, this. No, I was just gonna say I'm looking at this eight bit mode, and that's fucking hideous. Yeah, it is, it's, and it looks it's like off. Right, looks terrible. Yeah. Who would play with that? I know. Don't. Yeah. All that trouble for that shit. Yeah, I, I know. Like I got a trophy though, so okay. that's what matters. <laughs> that's what matters. Oh, and um, Cody, what about you? <laughs> Shelf stacker box. Um, all right, I'm gonna be real with you, Nate. You can you can go ahead and plug your ears here. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't hate it. I did not hate this game. I didn't particularly like it. I didn't hate it. And I think it's because, as you know, from when uh, I had I'd played Dead Space like four or five years ago and then played it again for this and I fell back in love with it. So then I played Dead Space 2. And the more that I think about it, the more I realize just how much I love Dead Space 2. It's okay. so goddamn good. And then playing Dead Space 2 recently and coming into Dead Space 3, it makes it feel for lack of better terms, generic. There are things that I'm going to remember about Dead Space 2 for years and years, and I have already forgotten a fair bit of Dead Space 3, and I finished it yesterday. There's a couple of things that stand out that, like, hot and cold meter, uh, the main villain being really good, the ice planet, things like that, but 95 percent of this game has kind of already left my head or it's blended into other games and that's not to say that it's a bad game but like i i would not drop kick this into the trash but (laughs) this is going to be a box for for me not because it's bad but because i think it's kind of forgettable especially in comparison to those first two games which scratch just these incredible itches for me. The first game is like isolated and you feel kind of powerless yes. and you're just struggling to survive. And Dead Space 2 is just fucking chaos and I love it. Like 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 I said, with that with that whole prison break scene and like shit's just popping off and you just go from fucking jump street and then you go into this evil unitologist church and you figure out everything and it tells a story without having to tell a story as much. I just absolutely love those. And Dead Space 3 didn't have that same hook for either one. I could see what they're trying to do. I feel like I ha- might have more nostalgia for this. Had I played this game when it first came out, I'm like, oh, crafting is brand new. And microtransactions, what's that? This is exciting. <laughs> but I feel like with sort of the jaded lens of like seeing this done so many times over the last nine years, it just doesn't hold the same magic that it might be for Nate who played this game when it first came out and just fell in love with it. If I had played it then, I probably would have fell in love with it too, but I think in the modern scope, it's just not hit me in the right spot. So this is actually the first game that I've played for this uh, show where I'm going to put it in a box. All right. Okay, and I'll go last. I enjoyed it. I came into it with no expectations, no idea what I was going to like it or not. I was like, okay, I mean, I got to do it because I got to knock it out of this of this, of the thing. Why not? And I had fun. I mean, it wasn't... Dead Space 1 is my favorite i fucking love that oh wait, wait wait wait, hang on mike what? your favorite is one my yes. favorite is two nate's favorite is three and our powers combine and we yes. are we can make that space six. that is that is rad i just i just <laughs> <laughs> dead space six that's uh, no it is it is my, what is by far my favorite but i had fun like i did have a good time and the crafting didn't interest me but it doesn't interest me in any game that's why i never yeah. played minecraft I don't care crafting. I don't want to craft stuff. I don't want to make uh, stuff. Okay. I loved it in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, so maybe it depends on what I'm doing. I like crafting. <laughs> like, upgrades I'm okay with. Like, I don't want to I don't want to make my own thing. I want to just get upgrades and watch things get more powerful. That I'm okay with. Yeah. And that was not what this game felt like. That's what bothered me. This, sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. This is the oh. only game where I've ever gotten into crafting like this. Every other game, like, I've tried, like, Don't Starve. All, like, all those games where you just craft stuff, and I can't get into it. Like, I'm just like, this is boring. Okay, it just, but I think it's just because of the way it's easier. Like I don't know, my brain just understands this easier because there's only like a. F- I mean, in 2013, it really felt like infinite possibilities, and then in 2022, I'm like, oh, they're, they're like it's pretty, it's pretty strict on what you can make. But yeah, like it's it's easier for my brain to digest and understand than like Minecraft, where you can just build whatever you want. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. 
<laughs> but I'm going to I'm going to put this in the stack cuz I did have fun, but it's not a game that I really want to revisit anytime soon, but I had a good time. I enjoyed it, but I'm glad it's done and I'm I'm good to move on. But it's still it's not a bad game. It doesn't no, deserve no. any of the hate it gets. No. No, and and that's and that's one thing I do I do feel like I was a little bit harsh on it. This is not a bad game. I think anybody definitely should play this game at least once, especially if you played the the first two. I think it's a good way to sort of end it off. No, I mean it is it is it it is a lot of fun, and it does not deserve the hate that it gets. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, and- if I could just get a clear audio clip of Cody saying "shelf," and then I can edit the episode. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Three, two, one. Box. <laughs> All right. And I should introduce what we're talking about next week. Uh, next week, I am going to be playing Until Dawn for PS4. Oh, right on. That's a good so I haven't. I played that before. A game, man. I should have. I should have waited till next week. <laughs> so I haven't played it in a while. So it's going to be interesting to go back. It's actually, it wasn't even my pick. It was a friend of mine's pick. That nice. she wanted it to be on in here. I'm like, okay, because I, I was gonna let her pick something a couple of years ago, and then she wasn't able to make it, so I didn't do it. But I've been waiting, so this is what she wanted. So I'm doing it because of her, Helena. Yes. And before we started recording, there's something that we have to—a joke that I want to bring back. So uh, you were thinking, uh, <laughs> Cody, I mean, you have a tattoo on the back on your back. Yes, yes, I do. I actually do have a tattoo of Satan eating at Denny's. On the back of of my right shoulder blade, I was showing all of these off just before the podcast started. <laughs> Y'all all know that, but the one that is that is the craziest that pe- that people cannot believe that I have. I have like the size of a child shoebox on my back of the literal winged Lucifer eating at Denny's on my back. Not, <laughs> and, not Waffle House. No, I feel like it probably should have been. Waffle House. I should I should probably retcon that in in my head. Uh, they didn't have Waffle House in this particular place where where I was going, so I just I just kind of gave up and went to Denny's. Just kind of settled for Denny's. Yeah, I did. I I I kind of settled for Denny's, Which... you know, because they didn't ha- they didn't have a Waffle House at at my uh, at my <laughs> in, in my city. It's a tattoo shop. They just have a waffle <laughs> house. Oh, wow. they they see what call, so. It's like, man, like waffle house is way is is like way too many letters, man. They All said, right, fine. You said waffle house. They were like, what? Waffle house. <laughs> no, we got a Denny's, dude. We got Denny's. That's uh, 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 uh that's like five letters. I'm like, I think it's six. <laughs> Less than Waffle House, so it's okay. Two ends? Wait, wait, wait. There's two ends and oh shit! I got it. A, what you're saying. You settled for Denny's. Most people do. <laughs> I stepped on Nate's joke. That's fine. God damn it! This is off the rails. I love it. I love it. I, love it. I, love it. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I haven't eaten a Denny's in a while. A lot. Okay, so I, I so no, you made sure. a comment before the show people just end up at Denny's, settle for Denny's. The last time I was at a Denny's. I was there because I was getting my my tires fixed on my car or my transmission fixed. I had to wait a while and I took a freaking long ass walk and ended up at a Denny's and like oh, I, I'm here. I guess I'll... story checks stands. out. Yeah, story <laughs> checks out. Is you literally couldn't go anywhere else, so you were forced. Oh, and I, to I remember on New Year's Denny's. eating Denny's once because nothing else was open nearby, so we stopped at Denny's that night and had food. That's that's usually how I also end up at that particular restaurant. Now I love me some Waffle House. I don't know if they have them where y'all are. Dude, Mike, I am passionate about five things in life, and two of them are Waffle House. All right. Okay. I just I we don't have any up here in Minnesota. In the other it is literally house. on on the hat that I'm wearing right now, and <laughs> pretty much any time I am seen, I'm wearing this Waffle House hat. I don't even work for them. They don't give me money. I don't even get a discount on the food when I go there. I love Waffle House that goddamn much. It's is delicious. It you know, I've actually yeah. had them in Northern Ohio, so I think it's like a it's 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 sort of like I know they have them there. Like I think the furthest I've eaten them is like right at the border of like Canada. I think they're up in like Sandusky or something. Like like I mean you can find them. Um, I know they're like uh, in Virginia, West Virginia, but they're not really northeast. So they kind of go straight down to through like Kentucky, and then they just kind of fan out. So there's few of them in okay. Texas, but there's a buttload of them down in Florida, and that story incredibly checks out. I've never been to one. I don't think we have any around here. Oh uh, my. Mm-hmm. When you go north, all Waffle Houses turn into Tim Hortons. The further north you go, coffee's really good there. Now I do love some some Tim Hortons coffee. You can't you yeah. can't even even touch that. But is 
But but that's just like a freaking donut shop, man. I need like a yeah. good stick to your ribs kind of kind of brick. Waffle, uh, Waffle also- House is <laughs> Waffle House is like Dead Space One. It's really atmospheric. Oh, very uh, much so. Yeah, it's you terrifying. go there for the atmosphere. It's terrifying. It's, it's terrifying. terrifying. The music is amazing. <laughs> Did you know Waffle when the, House when the cook comes multiple, out with your food? <laughs> Wa- Waffle House has multiple albums about the Waffle House. That is not even a joke. You can play them on the jukebox, and they are original songs written about how good Waffle House is. It's insane. <laughs> for twenty five cents, you can listen to Eggs Over Easy by the Waffle House players. It can be done. It's it's chaos. Right. I love the nearest it. Waffle oh. House to me is only three hundred and sixty four miles. Oh, that's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Oh, Order sorry. that all sorry. stars. Four hundred eighteen miles. I have to drive through Iowa and Des Moines to get near to not that far from Kansas City to get to my nearest Waffle House. That's a whole lot of corn you're you're going to be seeing between you and the nearest Waffle House. Order the All Star Special. That's a waffle, two eggs, any way you want it. Get it over easy. Get some raisin toast with it. Sop that up with it. Get two slices of bacon, extra crispy. <laughs> now, a lot of people will say to get those grits. Now, I love grits, but but if if you're only going to go once, get the hash browns, uh, scattered, smothered, covered, diced, and cubed. Extra smothered, and if for fifty you... cents more, double the order of hash browns, Mike. <laughs> Man, double. I don't like hash browns. I don't and want to double no hash browns. But, but for, listen, for fifty, you can't beat that deal with a stick. It's a mess. If right, anyone, well, let's get the grits. if anyone is scrambling to write this order down, <laughs> just go to the Waffle House and say, "I'll have one Laveau, please," and they'll Louis be like, just "You get, got it." Mention my Oh, yeah, that guy with dreads, right? That up. guy. Fuck will... <laughs> that guy. He changed his name. Plus Every guy, time we I'll record. I'll still fight that fucking guy. <sighs> I will take my, I, I don't even care that he had to change his name. I just want to fight him for the principal, the goddamn oh, thing. He has oh. a stupid face. And he's a Nazi. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> All right. And Cody, where can people find you at? Uh, apparently on TikTok. Holy shit. Have y'all been following this thing? A little bit. All right. So the the long and the short, because you know my story, or my story, my life is chaos. I have a series of, of weird things that happened to me this past week is no different. I made me a little TikTok video, and I used my normal speaking voice, my good old Southern boy voice, and I said, "Did y'all hear about them putting black people out in the Lord of the Rings?" I, I, I mean, y'all keep fucking around. I, I'm gonna just write my own book. I'm gonna make it about Vikings fighting dragons. I'm gonna make every single one of them some bitches Korean, and I'm gonna make the main character a lesbian. She's gonna have a six foot two Polynesian wife. Just piss y'all off. And apparently. About 150,000 people thought that was a good idea for a book. So I'm writing a book. I have a Kickstarter up. Uh, It should still be up. When does this go live, Mike? Next week. Next week. Perfect. All right. Today's the 16th, so this will be going live. My Kickstarter is still live. Um, 25th. It is Harangi Fire. It's uh, H-O-R-A-N-G-I-F-I-R-E. Harangi Fire. It's about Korean Vikings. The main character is a lesbian. I am dedicating this book. To anybody who complains online about women, LGBTQ, and or people of color being in any type of media, whether it's The Little Mermaid or Lord of the Rings or fucking anything. This novel's being written out of spite, and fuck all of you. There ain't going to be a blue eye in this whole goddamn thing. I'm writing a 250-page novel out of fucking spite, and I'm getting a Kickstarter for it. Um, I, as of the time of this, I should be getting to about halfway there. Like I'm, I'm at least halfway to my goal, which is fucking mind blowing. I'm not Things asking like my, my, my life is weird. My, have you met anybody is, like, yeah, like no. it is, uh, if this hadn't happened to me, I would not believe that literally any one of the things that has happened to me. One of a kind. So, sure. I, I swear to God, I, for better and for worse. So uh, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram at Cajun Crippler. One word, I got that name because I used to be a professional wrestler. Still looking for one more last match. And I once uh, accidentally dislocated a man's arm. So they call me the Cajun Crippler, C-A-J-U-N-C-R-I-P-P-L-E-R. Or Cody Laveau just about anywhere. The not the Nazi guy had to change his name because I beat his <laughs> SEO. I've saved an endangered species uh, from the are, brink of are extinction. Are you going to send him a signed copy of your book that just? Says, I should you. just says fuck <laughs> off, <laughs> racist. Yeah. Just two middle fingers. Also, a tier on my Kickstarter is for twenty five dollars. <laughs> I will mail you a hard co- a a hardcover 
copy of this book and you can tell me your favorite swear word and I will write it in for you. That's that's the tier <laughs> that's, I'm going for that's, that's, that's the personal <laughs> touch. Yeah. Hell, for $5,000, I will I will personally come to your house and deliver it in person to you and we can go and have Dinner somewhere, please be in a city with a Waffle House in it. <laughs> there, won't be up here, then. there aren't any up here in Minnesota. I'll make do. We can go to Tim Hortons. That's fine. We, we don't have one of those either. They got, we had one in the mall. It got closed. What kind of savagery is going on up there? Well, we Mike? got Denny's. We got Denny's. Mm-hmm. We got Hardee's. You're going to you're gonna okay, have to Hardee's. your cell phone while you're going through the drive through sometimes. Okay, too. Hardee's, yeah, I do. Hardee's. All right. All right. We can talk Hardee's. <laughs> I am back on board. Give me five thousand dollars, Mike. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. And if you, Nate, do you have anything you want to plug for your friend or No. He hasn't actually I haven't seen him on Twitch in a minute. So oh, okay. so he doesn't get plugged. All right. If you enjoyed this show, you we can have... follow me. Oh sure. Follow follow Nate. On a Twitter I don't look at oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a Discord. So if you want to talk with us, you can join the Discord. We are made one recently, so please join that. Oh, God, I just remembered there was a question on there from Discord somebody put, and my dumbass is not used to that, or it wasn't my dumbass that put it on there either. So if you're still listening, sir, I remembered you. Nice. Wait, 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 wait. Is that you? Hold on. Let me look at the comment. Is that you? He's going there. (laughs) Yeah, that's Did you find it? You should read it. It's probably a really good message. Probably a really good comment. Inner Rota on Discord, one of the coolest games ever made. I love it. I wish we could have seen them expand the weapon crafting in Dead Space 4. There you go. That's, You're that's a like smart Flynn. guy. Or girl. <laughs> or or gal. Absolutely. Right, yeah. funny, now. Dead Space, episode 93, Dead Space 1, and Dead Space 2 is episode 145. All right, and if you enjoyed the show, go check out our other 350 other episodes that we have recorded over... God, over, it's getting close to 400 soon. 400 soon. Do you have anything planned there. for episode 400? Anything special? Oh, no, so they just they just throw out so much crap, so I don't, I don't count all the extra oh, stuff. Okay. As like, we, I do the numbered episodes, if that's by the weeks. Like, this is 193, I think I said, or something like that. And that's how many weeks I've been going. The extra stuff is just extra crap, because oh, I can't okay. stop addiction. So. All right, guys, and also make sure to follow Nate. He drives a white Toyota Corolla <laughs> license, license plate SR761. Yes, uh, three rock. Five eight. So I, that is, that is too many letters. DS3 the best. <laughs> 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 All right, if you go check out our Discord, I want to give a shout out to my awesome intro, outro, courtesy of Helena at Hell Has Fear. You can follow her on TikTok. Also, we're going to shout out to my buddy Bill Tucker, did the MCU with me. Started his own podcast, The Gamer Looks at 40, where he interviews people, how video games affect their life. Also want to say we have a Patreon for a little dollar. You can vote in our Patreon polls. We have a movie poll, and we have a top 10 poll. Go check it out. Little's a dollar. One dollar. Helps me out. Helps out the show, and you get to affect the show. Give Mike some money. That too. And it mostly just pays your, it mostly just pays your hosting anyway, to be honest. So exactly. it helps me out. And I... I think that's every oh follow us, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube. We are on YouTube with audio only, and I think that's everything I need to say. We will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Take, take it easy, Mike. And if it's easy, say it. Take it twice. Yeah, it. That's my guy right there. <laughs> All right, have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.